My name is Andrzej Hamentowski. I am a PhD candidate in doctoral school at the Medical University of Białystok. Today, I would like to present the results of my research project titled Assessment of Tsunami Case Influence on Contractility of Gastric Smooth Muscles in Humans. The research was carried out in the Department of Biophysics under the supervision of Professor Beata Modzelewska and Professor Tomasz Kleszczewski, together with my research associates Barbara Łukaszewicz and Sebastian Skowron. This presentation was shown during the iMedic conference in Bydgoszcz, where it was awarded first place in the Health Sciences session. Firstly, I would like to say a few words about the theoretical background of my research. Functional gastrointestinal disorders, abbreviated FGID, are a very large group of disorders characterized by chronic gastrointestinal symptoms, for example, abdominal pain, dysphagia, dyspepsia, diarrhea, constipation, and bloating and in the absence of demonstrable pathology on conventional testing. The worldwide prevalence is estimated at 40%, while FGID constitutes 30% of gastroenterology outpatient consultations, which in turn incurs a lot of healthcare costs. At the same time, FGID are responsible for the poor quality of life, which is worse than other chronic medical conditions. For example, grade 3 congestive cardiac failure and rheumatoid arthritis. The first line of treatment includes antispasmodics such as drotaverine. However, they might cause adverse anticholinergic side effects of dry eyes and a dry mouth. It can also worsen constipation. Cinnamic acid has natural origin and belongs to the large and diverse group of substances described as polyphenols. Cinnamic acid has been attributed a variety of beneficial properties which include antioxidative capacity, anti-diabetic effects. Some studies show also cardioprotective results. However, like most polyphenols, cinnamic acid has poor absorption in the GI tract. That's why we wanted to check if its action can be observed in situ in the stomach. The purpose of the study was to assess the effect of tsunami acid on contractility of smooth muscles of the stomach, as well as to determine the relations between its action and endogenous synthesis of nitric oxide and activation of potassium channel. Tissues were obtained from patients undergoing sleeve gastrectomy due to morbid obesity. The layer of smooth muscles was dissected, attached to a strain gauge and placed in the tissue bath with thyroid buffer at physiological temperature. The area under the curve, average baseline muscle tone and the relative change in muscle contraction were evaluated using a strain gauge. The statistical analysis was performed using ANOVA and the Crookslow-Wallis tests were appropriate. The results were considered statistically significant at P under 0.05. In the pictures we can see what our laboratory equipment looks like. Endogenous nitric oxide synthesis was blocked by LNMMA, second messenger SGC by indomethacin, potassium channels were blocked by broad spectrum potassium channel deactivator TEA, and selectively with glybenclamide, apamine, and barium chloride. In this picture we can see a raw diagram of the muscle's contraction during the successive stages of the experiment. After acclimatization, contraction of muscles was stimulated using carbohol. Only strips showing stable activity in response to agonists proceeded further in the experiments. 
Islamic acid was dialed in DMSO and increasing concentrations were added cumulatively to the tissue chamber. Exposure to cinnamic acid caused statistically significant dose-dependent relaxation of strips, manifested by the decrease of area under the curve, which is comprised of lower amplitude and frequency compared to control. Basal tension was also reduced. Pre-incubation with LNNA, an inhibitor of the endogenous nitric oxide synthesis pathway, prevented the cinnamic acid-induced relaxation. Additionally, TEA, ribenclamide, apamine, and barium chloride also reversed the relaxant effects of cinnamic acid. The red line on the chart shows how cinnamic acid acts alone in other lines with pre-incubation with nitric oxide synthesis pathway inhibitors and potassium channel. To sum up, cinnamic acid causes relaxation of the smooth muscles of gastrointestinal tract, uh, which is dependent on nitric oxide synthesis and activation of potassium channels. Cinnamic acid has potential to become nutraceutical for treating functional gastrointestinal dyspepsia and other gastric motility disturbances. Thank you for your attention.